Hello, my beautiful darlings. I'm in the beautiful Awakening Center in the Zuna Hills. If you need readings, if you need healings, if you need crystals, which was my favorite space and spot to play in, this is it. Awakenings in Laguna Hills. Why I'm coming here today is to share a bit more of a vulnerable story. A vulnerable story that ties in with a little bit of the subject of self-forgiveness and how self-forgiveness helped me kind of transmute and understand what was happening that um, essentially was cystic acne. So I'm going to show you a little photo before and after. And during this time, I went off birth control and what happened is that this acne started to come through and I started to look everything outside of myself. All of the healing products, seeing a dermatologist, seeing estheticians, even thinking about Accutane, which completely changes uh, your face and your cells and all of these types of things. And I kept saying like, no, 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 there's something, there's something. Even changing my diet, vegan, gluten-free, vegetarian, all these different things. And really the one thing that helped me literally was self-love and self-forgiveness. And a little bit further on down the line, I learned through Louise Hayes' You Can Heal Your Life, which is a, a fantastic book um, just to have on your bookshelf. And she lists a bunch of um, description as in, you know, if you have arthritis, if you have um, pain in your shoulder, just anywhere pain or um, dis-ease maybe in your body, she has a list of what that pertains to. And acne, I learned later on, is is resistance or not not allowing yourself to accept yourself so acceptance and that's what kind of self-forgiveness is in a way too is self-acceptance and compassion compassion and to go deeper into my story about cystic acne was the experience that i had being in there was <laughs> being in there it literally felt like i was in there because I was so to the point where I didn't even care what my face looked like, like it was bubbling over. It got so bad that every time that I looked at my face, I just closed my eyes and I could just feel my face throbbing. And that was the point where I was like, oh my, like what, what do I do? What do I do? And I started to learn about mirror work. I started to learn about self-care practices and really slowing down to ask my body to tune into my body and ask like what is what is happening you know and i kept searching and searching outside of myself and the key that i'm trying to share with you with you all and hopefully passing on this message is that when we turn inwards and ask ourselves what do we need and literally face ourselves in the mirror i couldn't get away from looking at myself in the mirror and saying like i fully accept you I love you, Natasha. I love who you are. You are so beautiful. No matter what is on the outside, whew, it, I started to see my face turn around. And then I had this beautiful family esthetician who um, has been in my life for quite some time and she will always be dear in my heart. And she started to use some organic products on me. So the organic products on top of like really what it comes down to is the act of facing myself in the mirror every single day and just saying, I love you. I love you. You are beautiful. And tying in this self-forgiveness practice as may, may this may show up for you in different ways is that I'm, I started to understand that it was more than just, just self-love. Like there was something deeper going on and it was more of like the forgiveness piece that I'm starting to understand. Like I forgive myself for getting off birth control and that's what it caused or I forgive myself for, for any wrongdoing that I kept putting on myself. Like why am I not changing? Why am I not doing this? Why am I not doing that? And which I was doing. I was doing all the things to try and shift it. But it's the act of self-forgiveness and, and sitting with myself to say like, I, I forgive myself for blaming myself. I forgive myself for shaming myself for how I look. I forgive myself for buying into the idea that 
my face or that I need to look a certain way. So with that said, you know, sometimes I still get acne. Luckily, it's kind of gone away and I'm even getting messages about acne and that's why I feel really called to, to sharing this message with you all. Um, organic products, for sure, for sure. And another tool that I like to use, which is like Tesla coil um, technology and it's high frequency, like a high frequency one is the best. I love that thing and it, it oxidizes your face. So what I'm getting to is that even though I had that past, there still comes up um, during a certain time when my body can't process things or, you know, like eating um, high fat foods or um, dairy products I can't really do. It's like I still get acne. And so even in those those times when my face is shifting and still changing and even, you know, right now I have, ma I have makeup on, but like I, I tend to have some like acne scars and sometimes I just have to remind myself the love that's with inside, that I'm more than just my face, that I'm more than just this body, you know? And once again, I talk to my face. <laughs> I talk to my face and I tell all my cells like, I love you, you are working, you are cleansing, you are doing everything that you need to do. And when I have these moments, they're little reminders, little reminders of what I've been through. And maybe that can show up so differently for you too, of like if you come into a, another circumstance where you're facing another program or a, another pattern of yours and another um, lesson in the same context, you can bring in that self-forgiveness and be like, I love you. Like, I know all the tools. I have all these tools to work through whatever emotions that come through. So hopefully this gives you an example of what self-forgiveness can feel and can look and can look like. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and if you have any questions or you wish to share your story or have any um any comments or concerns just please reach out I'm here for you and just know that we are all going through a journey and with that just give yourself permission to um, to feel give yourself permission to go through the process and even if you haven't attained a certain goal per se invite yourself into that self-forgiveness practice and just practice that self-love and look at yourself in the mirror and just say like, I love you, you got this. And it's a continuous practice and I have to remind myself all the time. <laughs> but just know that you are loved and thank you for hearing me. Thank you for tuning in and I hope this helps you in any which shape or form. I love you, I love you, I love you.